just applying my BB cream. Um, this is the Skin 79 BB cream. Um, and I use this because it has lots of gray tones in it. And I just dotted it onto my face first. Just all over like the five points of my face. And I just started blending it out um, just a little bit before I actually went in and blended it out with an actual sponge. I'm just gonna get my hair velcro and just pin back my hair because you do not want that on your hair. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting my sponge and I'm just going to get a face mist by Innisfree. This is the green tea face mist and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the BB cream and it helps in blending out your BB cream when your sponge is slightly damp. So I'm just blending that out. Blend, 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 blend. Now I'm just going to get more of that BB cream and apply it onto my blemishes and just get my skin as perfect as can be. But I am avoiding the dark circle area. Now I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to use that with a kabuki and apply that all over my face. I didn't want to have that shiny like twilight vampire look so I just mattified my face um, with that and just put it all over it. I really like this powder. It works really, really well. Now I'm taking my eye primer by Benefit and I'm just going to apply that to my lids and instead of rubbing it in, I actually patted it in because it actually helps your eyeshadow adhere better to your lids when you pat it in. So I am doing that here. Next I'm taking this Wet n Wild shadow and I'm just using that as a base color. And throughout this tutorial, I used Q-tips because I wanted to just test out like how well q-tips work as eyeshadow tools so it works really well now i'm taking this tan shade from my bh cosmetics 120 palette second edition i believe and i'm just focusing that into the crease um, and i'm just applying this as a like a base transition color Now I'm just going in with this burgundy reddish shade and I'm just going to apply that into the center and kind of blend it on over onto the crease but not entirely. Does it make sense? I hope it did. And I'm just focusing that into the center. Now I'm just going to get this dark brown and I'm going to focus that onto the um, outer part of my lid. I'm just getting my NYX Bohem Chic and using the dark, almost black brown and I'm applying that onto the outer corners to deepen up the outer corner. Next I'm taking this goldy shade and I'm just going to apply that into the inner corners of my lids to brighten up that area. And then I'm using my black liner by Physicians Formula, and I'm just gonna tight line my eyes. I decided not to um, wing out my line, wing out my line, wing out my eye line, um, just because I wanted to really give myself that natural look. And I just lined um, both my water lines, also my um, lower water line. And then I started to just point out the inner corners of my lids. So basically I just dragged out the liner. Then getting Q-tip again, I'm just blending out the eyeliner um, to give myself a very smoldering look. Uh, I didn't want it to look like harsh or anything. I want everything to look very smoked out. Now I'm just going to highlight and blend out everything and I'm just blending it out. Yay. <laughs> now I'm getting this um, grayish brown and I'm going to just apply it to the lower lid, lower lash line and i um, just using that to give myself more of like that tired, sleepy look like vampires have. 
Next, I'm going to fill in my brows, and I wanted to give myself some bold brows, so I just fill them in like I usually do, but I put in a little bit more than I normally do. And I just set it with my Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel, which works like magic. It's like, it's amazing. It really just, you know, it just, it's just amazing. <laughs> Now I'm just applying mascara and curling my lids, curling my lids, curling my lashes and applying uh, fake lashes. And there they are. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah. Now I'm just getting a gray eyeshadow and I decided to contour my face just very slightly, very subtly. Um, cause I didn't want to go for a drastic contour look cause I was trying to go for a more of a realistic approach to my vampire look. So I just, um slightly contoured my face just so that I can have some dimension on my face since I have a slightly round rounder face than normal <laughs> now I'm just applying it to my neck um, onto the areas that you can like really see the I don't know what you call these like collarbone area um, just to sharpen up everything give myself a skeletal look almost kind of not really <laughs> and I just applied the rest onto my forehead to blend it in and even it out now I'm just applying some blush just because I, f I felt like my face looked a little flat so I just warmed it up a bit with some blush now I'm just taking my tinted brilliance balm by pixie and um, in this shade I forgot what the color is um, but I put it into the um, center of my lips um, as a base color because I was trying to go for a um, a lip that looked as if I just it was stained by blood if that makes sense um, now I'm just blending it out with some with my sponge and I'm just blending out the harsh lines now I'm just going in with my lip tint by Tony Moly and I'm just gonna apply that over that um, pixie tint that I put over that I put over that I put on and it's actually gonna just make my lips like even more vampy now I'm just gonna take my lip lacquer by Rimmel show off lip lacquer in Big Bang and since I didn't have any fake blood on me I just decided to use this as my fake blood and I just create a little drip marks and um, I used this in combination with my lip tint by Tony Moly and just kind of added to the look and then I went in with a black gel liner by uh, Maybelline and um, I just added that to give depth to my blood so that it would look more realistic and then I just um, went in again with my um, Rimmel Show Off lip lacquer and blended it all out and that's about it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.